What is going on, true believers? You made it to the having. Everything is beautiful. Or is it? We've gotten what we wanted. We got the having. We got the the reduction in supply uh, being produced. We got the number that we wanted. Now what happened? Why are we not at 82,000 right now? Why are we not pumping? Well, I'm going to show you a little bit of history. I'm going to show you exactly what's going on with Bitcoin. Uh, and then we'll kind of wrap this up in a pretty little bow. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button and the bell to be notified. And let's kick this off with the first thing. And the first thing is what is the having and why does it affect the price? And I'll simply explain. The having is, uh, there used to be every block that closed was 6.25 new Bitcoin were given out as rewards. As of the having, that number is now 3.125. There were 9,000 Bitcoin roughly produced every week. Now, it's cut in half. So there's going to be about 4,500 produced every week. Current volume will show that. Now, the good thing, ETFs have been eating up about 9,000 a day. Well, roughly 8,000 a day. So that's going to create a, a bigger vacuum than has already existed. What has that done? Well, that's kind of pushed the price uh, in, in an upward fashion. We've already hit 74,000. We've had all-time highs before the halving we're feeling pretty good. Now, will that just continue to send Bitcoin? Well, long-term, yes. Short-term, it's a little more complicated than that. We're going to look at some price action, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. And then uh, if you agree with me, then make sure you invest accordingly. And if you don't agree with me, make sure you invest accordingly, because I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not here to tell you what to do. So first, the uh, this is the chart right now. We kind of had a, a double top. We didn't get a higher, uh, we didn't get a higher uh, top. And we did not get a bearish divergence. That is important to, to note here. We got a lower high and we got a lower RSI. So uh, fundamentally, we're still in a good place and we're still bullish. The RSI currently uh, crossing back over the heart, uh, the, the trend line right now at about 46.50. And we came down a couple of days ago before the halving all the way down to about 38. And you know, we haven't been at 38 in a while. If you, if you come back here and look, it's been since August of last year that we've had a low RSI. There's been a, 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 a zest, if you will, for people uh, to buy Bitcoin. And this is what it looks like after the halving. We've seen uh, a pump so far. And the pump that we've seen has been, uh, as of yet, about 3 or 4%. Nothing huge, but there it is. Now, what does it look like going forward? Well, I'm going to give you a prediction. And I'm going to tell you that I think, and by the way, if you've ever done a FIB auto extension, then you'll see that that the auto extension tends to play out over and over and over again with Bitcoin hitting that 4.23 every time. So right now, the next goal is going to be right here. It's going to be 82,143. So that's what I think is getting ready to happen here. Now, when you look at this from a uh, context right now, it's about 25% increase. The question now, when will it happen? Well, here's the having previously to get about a 20 25% uh, move that took 87, 90 days. So that's what we're looking for. Maybe three months under normal circumstances. However, let's go back and let's look at one more. This right here, this is May of 2020. Now, remember that a lot of this was because of this right here. And what is that right there? That's COVID. So when COVID came in, it kind of crushed the market. What happened? Well, we all got locked indoors. We all had to, you know, Two weeks to stop the spread, blah, 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 blah. Then we got the halving. We started to take off a little bit. And then the government started pumping money into the economy, which caused this little spike right here. And then what happened? Then, then we got our tax refund and it became stimmy time. So that caused this massive and parabolic sort of run. But the point is it took about 87 days for it to go up 20% before we got to that parabolic move. But then we did get to that parabolic move. That parabolic move uh, took, let's call it, uh, to get started and underway, 166 bars, so about 320 days, or 320, about six months is how long it took for it to get started. Uh, so now let's go back and let's look at 2016. That was uh, Monday, uh, July 18, 2016. It took 148 days to get to 20%. Now, what happened after 20%? We had an enormous spike right there. Uh, then we got uh, a little bit of correction, period. Then we had another enormous spike. Then we had a, another a dump, but again, lower highs or higher lows each time. We got this higher low here, 
higher low here. And then the parabolic breakout started to happen at that point. So that's what it looks like every single time. So going back over here, what is it going to look like here? Well, in the event that we look at it that way, then somewhere in this range of uh, around August, looks like around August at 117 bars on average, that's, that's about the average that would look like the time where we're going to have a breakout. But I don't think that it's going to take that long. I think that this market is different. Why? Because in 2020 and in 2016, there was no such thing as ETFs. That was just a dream, a pie in the sky, a wish list. It was something that uh, nobody knew was going to happen, we were hoping one day, but wasn't there. So now the question is, where do we get the momentum to, to kind of kick off this next run? Well, miners are currently holding on to their Bitcoin. They're not motivated to sell. Why are they not motivated to sell? Because they're mining half what they were getting before. So they have to increase their power, which they've already done, but mostly. Um, they have to um, continue to shore up their resources, get more machinery. They have to find ways to save money and become more green, if you will. There's a lot of things that they're stuck doing at this moment. During that period of time, they might be forced to sell a few of them. Not a lot. But what they're looking for now is they're looking for a doubling of the price at the time of the halving in order to maintain profitability. Uh, and about 60000 um, about 60000 it's going to represent a comfortable sort of profit margin. So you'll notice that we're just kind of trending around 60000 in fact. So this is not putting them in a profitable paradigm right now because of the upgrade. Now they're in kind of a break-even mode. So the next question is, how far do we go? And I'm going to tell you now that I think that 82,143, and I think that we're going to see it a lot sooner than we think. I think uh, sometime in May, we're probably going to see an $84,000, $82,000 Bitcoin. Uh, I think we'll trend sideways for as long as we trend sideways. I think that we'll, we'll get a, a sense and a feeling about, um, you know, and, and we'll be looking at some of these FIB ranges here. Uh, you know, obviously 73,000 right here, which represents that, that kind of blow off sort of top that we had previously, that's going to come into play again. We'll probably be looking at a big move into that range. So, uh, you know, I'll be looking for that to happen, but ultimately, uh, I think 82,143, we're going to see just, you know, we're going to start to see a really big move over the next bunch of days. Uh, into this range, and then we'll get a rejection off of it. You know, probably coming down just a little bit, uh, and you know, there'll be some cooling off period. Then there'll be some pumps from the altcoins to get to correspond with it, and uh, then I think everything is going to really start to send. And I gave you a prediction of ninety thousand for the end of the year. I think I'm being pretty conservative. Uh, I think it's now entirely possible one hundred and twenty thousand comes by December. And remember. This is the the this is the, this is the walk away period. We're getting towards that walk away period. We're getting into the summer months. We're getting into the spot where everybody just kind of takes a break. Researching crypto is so important. Guys, go to cryptonomy.finance slash research today and learn more about AI, DAOs, DeFi, gaming, layer one or layer two, uh, memes, gaming, NFTs, web three, whatever you need to know, exploring meme coin trends. All the information is available to you. Now make sure you sign up as a VIP or a pro member. Looking at my fixed deposits, guys, you can see right now, I just put in another three ETH that I'm holding until April 5 of 2025. Let me show you the details here. So at the end of this, my scheduled interest is going to be 3.23 Ethereum. So I'm running three Ethereum for letting them hold on to it for one year as a staking process. I anticipate a fantastic payout from this. But guys, the big money is made over here on the launch pool. Make sure that you're checking it out. I'm a bronze member. Remember, I put in about 0.48 Bitcoin with an expected rate of return of 1 to 5x. I'm taking a risk here. If I only get a 1x, I, you know, I think I'll still be fine. But uh, as you can see right now, I've already accumulated 83,691 USDT for my efforts so far. How much Bitcoin is that? It's quite a bit. Go to cryptonomy.finance today and earn for yourself. So... Um, we may not see this 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 radical move, or this radical move will be completely institutional and not uh, being done by retail. Now, the other thing to this is um, retail didn't come back in 2020. Retail came back in 2021 for stimmy time. So next year is going to be tax refund time. A lot of people are going to remember how much money they made. A lot of people are going to be throwing a lot of money in around this time next year, early on, probably nine months away.
So uh, if you're keeping track at home, then set your calendar by it. I think that, you know, again, we're going to have another blow up explosion, if you will, in January. And the question is where we're going to be at that time. And I think we're going to be around 100, 120,000 at that time. So, and that's just going to be kind of a, an upward sort of momentum, an upward nice little increase. Uh, but I think that that blow off is coming very, very soon. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you think that we're going to blow up, let me know. If you think that we're going to just trend sideways for another nine months, um, it, it's okay. You've been wrong before. Why not be wrong again? Uh, but we are getting ready for, in my opinion, uh, another big move. It'll be volatile. Uh, and remember, you know, we've got some profit taking probably going to go on between 77 and 80,000. I don't know if we push into 82, but it feels like that's the 1.618 line. I think that's where we're going to head next. So, uh, again, let me know what you think in the comments down below. It's not financial advice, but, uh, you know, drill.